Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Nino Kuni 2 Let's Play. Let's go ahead and continue where we left off. We have to go to the Briny Shrine and look for the missing ship builders. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know how far away the shrine is, but we shall see. Where is it? Whoops. Oh, it's not too far down. It's just down, down the beach. We have to figure out how to get up there. I don't want to fight this 27 pork chopper. To figure out how to get down. Down to the beach. Maybe around this way? No. Hmm. I don't know how to get down there. Do you see a way? No! No! I don't want to fight you! Oh god. It's gonna be a little tough. Careful, everyone! Oh god, get out the way. Get out the way. No, no, no. God, we hit the wall. Hi. We're dead. All right. All right, let's just get him. That's fine. why I didn't want to fight this dang pork chopper. There we go. Alright, Evan, you're alright. Um, we gotta change now. You. And... Items. Doorway. And then, do we have food? Let's do this. Okay. Now this has to be a way over here, through here. Yeah. Yeah. Just what I thought. Oh no. Are we gonna get stuck? No, we're not gonna get stuck. We'll fight this thing though.
Here Jesus. goes nothing. Jesus, that's a lot. Why are we dying? Okay. Yeah, these guys are a little bit higher level than what we're used to fighting, so we're dying a lot. And we're not gonna go fight that dragon. Puddle goo. Too bad we can't surprise attack them. Come on! Go. <laughs> okay. Probably gonna have to fight another one of these pork choppers. <clears throat> Careful, everyone. We can't get the heal off these guys. One heal? Ah. Um, we have to go down there. I really don't want to fight this pork chopper. Can we run behind him? Yes. We have to go in here. I think I might have coughed right in your ear. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. The Briny Shrine. Oh good. We can touch this. Get fully restored HP. Save your progress. Yes, please. Come down and do this one. Okay, then this looks like a boss fight. <clears throat> Can't help but notice the glare and lack of shipbuilders. Did the wretched creature gobble them all up, do you think? Hey! Over there, do you see? There's something on top of that platform. Oh yeah, let's go and take a closer look, shall we? What exactly is it? Uh, I'm some kind of cocoon or egg or something. Mm. <laughs> what? What? What's that? Blimey! Oh my gosh! There's someone inside it. Huh? You mean to say there's people in them? Every one of the blessed things. Then we best get the poor swabs out. Hmm. Careful, we're not alone. Boss fight. Hmm. 
Jelly Queen, gruesome grand dame of the gloomy deep. <coughs> Alright. Ouch! What happened? I don't know what she's doing, but let's try to get her down here. Oh, confused. Heal me. Heal me. Help me. Oh. I'm counting on you. There we go. Got her. Oh, we got a red, a red something out of her. We ha come on, we have to free them. Oh. Yeah, thank Crikey, we're out of there. I thought I were a goner. You braid that beast good and proper, eh? Right, tasty you are. Not like us lot. Is everybody safe? Mr. Wright was awfully worried about you all. Ha! I bet he were. The be not getting done with us all gumbled up here. We'd best get back sharpish or we'll never hear the end of it. Ta-ra! Righto, lad. Ta-ra for now. See you back at Capstan, eh? Alright. Capstan it is. Alright, but we got a... something. Antifreeze bone mail? Ooh, boost resistance to freezing, slightly boost water resistance. Um. There we go. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Save. We'll save here. There we go. <clears throat> Back to Capstan. Try to get behind this pork chopper again. Okay. 
We could just take him on, but I really don't want to. We'll take on this guy to make sure that Pork Chopper gets out of here. Here goes nothing. We're having a little bit of an easier time. Get this guy. Watch this. Alright, um, I want to try to go get that treasure chest. Dang, there's a lot of bad guys here. Of course. These goos just do so much damage with those. What, what's happening right now? Alright. Change our party back. I'm going to go around and get this treasure chest real quick. Sixth sensor. Can you guys get out of my way? Alright, and then we're gonna have to use Soar Way. Something blue over here. Wand of Wit. Alright, let's get this chest. Confusion be gone. Okay. Jeez. I'm 
trying something here. It's gonna take forever, but... Purple something. Some detox leather armor. Got our first purple. That worked a little bit better, so we weren't in the midst of all those goos. Wait, grab this. Um, let me grab that. Grab this. We'll take a look at that purple armor in just a moment. Soarway Sweet. chest down here. Some guilders. 800 guilders. Jesus. Alright, let's take a look at our equipment. Um, the wand we got. Is it better? It is. 77. Now, detox leather armor. Um, it's going to be better for you. Got any better rings? No. I still want that on him. Oh, dang. There we go. Okay. Got all that. Now let's go back in here. There's two Higgledies up there. Hello Higgledies. Hey up, your majesty. The lads are all back safe and sound. You've done Capstan upon, oh, a right big favor, and then some. <laughs> Should have seen him, righty. The kid's a flippin' animal. Clobbered that thing what snatched us a lot up like it were not. Bosh. <clears throat> Who are you calling kid, you sackless oaf? This isn't some bane from down the road. It's a king, King Evan of the Earthlands. I'll have you know. Whoa! Sure up, a king and all? At his age? But what's some king from over to ill, over the hill, and far away doing come, coming to rescue the likes of us? We need shipbuilders, and Mr. Wright told us that his shipbuilders needed our help. So that's it, huh? Well, King Evan, if it's boat builders you need, you've found your blokes. What are you after, exactly? A nice fishing boat, maybe? Or summit to live in? We can do you a right good out house boat if you have need of one. We need something big and hard wearing. We plan to sail around the world. Hydropolis first and then, well, who knows? <laughs> ha, around the flipping world, he says like it's not. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but you'll need not get an ocean going boat out of any of the wood we've got around here. No, you'll be needing something proper, hard wearing. The waves will soon wallop you to pieces otherwise. Mm. Hard wearing wood, huh? I think we'd better go and speak with Neal. He'll know of something we can use, I'm sure. Willie now. Well, you'd best go ask your mate Neal then, eh? Let us know when you've had a word with him. Oh, I. Aye, doing all. We have a debt of gratitude to be paying you back. 
Go to the throne room and ask Neal about wood you'll need for your boat. Okay. Evermore Castle. Yes. Okay. Um, first thing though, I want to manage the kingdom, get these coffers. Huh. Get the stores. Hey. All right, we've got 5,000 that we could do. How much do we need to upgrade this? Cost five thousand. Let's do it. Why is it not met? Twenty five or more citizens recruited. I see. Expand coffers. Kingdom of level two or more. Ah, uh, okay. All right, then, um... And we've bought everything that we could. Let's go over here. K, holy crap. Um, I want to go buy some more bread from him. Or at least food from him. Are you ready to order? Cook. Um, freshly break baked bread. Let's get ten of those. Let's get a sardine sandwich. Om nom omelet. Two of them. Um. Okay, that's Take all we can time. make right now. See ya. Bye. Oh, I know what we can do. We can manage the kingdom. We we're trying to get this up. Kingdom level two or more. Research, at least. Get this. Staff number knows Spiffin Smithin. All right, fine. No. I don't want to do that. I would rather save the save the stuff. Okay. Um. In that case, let's see if we can't do some of these. Um. Does it tell us what level? Level 60, huh? 28, 29, 17. Do we have grass green thread? Let's do this one. Whoops. We're gonna wait to do the main quest. I'm gonna... What are some of these things down here? Do you have a moment to spare, Evan Lad? You received a letter. A letter tied to an arrow, no less. Mm -hmm. An arrow? It didn't hit you, did it, Chingus? Our it was a close call, but I managed to pluck it out of the air at the last second. We Sky Pirates have sharp eyes, lad, and a good job, too. 
Oh, thank goodness. But who would send me a letter like that? Here, why don't you read it for yourself? Dear Mr. Imposter, there's only one king to the Heartlands, mate, and that's me. So I've taken me land back, and I'll take your castle and all. <laughs> okay. Tyron, he's the bandit we fought when we first came to the Heartlands, isn't he? Very same lad, and it seems he thinks he's a claim to some of our precious territory. We may think that, but we can't let him take our land, and we certainly can't let him take our castle. Yeah. Too blessed right, we can't, but we have no fear. We'll soon send the swabs a packin. I took the liberty of posting a sentry outside the castle walls. Why not go and inquire as to the lay of the land? Mm. I will, thank you, and I shall make sure the bandits don't cause too much trouble. Bandits at the border. Okay. No. And then the other one is right here. Ah, excellent timing. I was just about to come looking for you, your majesty. I've been asked to pass on a message. Mm -hmm. Message from whom? Yeah. The leaders of the army of Goldpaw. They would like to stage a mock battle against our forces. Seems they are keen on our two kingdoms to share battlefield know-how. Sounds like an excellent idea. Where were they planning on staging this battle? In the hills of the east of Goldpaw. In fact, I believe they already are there waiting for you. Oh! Well, then we better head over there right away. Hmm. There's no need to be hasty, your majesty. The battle will not be an easy one. Goldpaw's forces are not to be underestimated. Their hammer attacks in particular can be brutal. Be prepared. Mm. You're right, Minty, and thanks for the tip. You are welcome, but even the best advice in the world cannot assure victory. Once the battle is joined, it will be upon you to smash the dog soldiers and show the world the might of Evermore. Mm. Don't worry, there's no way we're losing this one. No. Um, okay, now what I do want to do is go to Goldpaw and give this girl her thread. I didn't see us get the thread, but it says the next objective is to give the thread to her. Okay. Well, there's a lot of people for us to talk to. Excuse me. Are you all right? What's the matter? Hey. Herf. Oh, look, Mother, it's King Evan. We should ask King Evan to help us. <sighs> Shh, be quiet, yapping pup. We do not need anyone's assistance. We will cope just fine on our own. Oh, but if there's anything we can do, we'd be happy to help, really. Could you at least tell us what the problem is? Yeah. Well, if you must know, we recently set out to pay a visit to Capstan upon Hull, but we never made it there. A vicious monster attacked us on the way. Seems like it preys on children and the infirm, the brute. It is too cowardly to pick on anyone its own size. We put out a call to the local monster hunters, but the craven creatures slunk off and hid. Now the hunters think us liars. Hmm. Ha, this sounds like a pretty cunning monster. Hmm. It's terrorizing people, but nobody is going after it, and we could do nothing ourselves to stop it. Uh -huh. So how are you going to get to Capstan? Um. We'll have to go by boat. It takes a lot longer, but at least the brute cannot attack us at sea. That's not a solution. It makes things way harder. Not just for you, but for everybody else headed that way. I am sure it will move on eventually. Such opportunistic creatures always do. And once it has, we will be able to make our way to Capstan in peace. No. No, no way. I'm not going to let this happen. Um, are you alright, Roland? We don't give in to bullies. We can't let them have their way, and we won't. But... We'll take care of that monster for you. You said it attacked you on the way to Capstan upon Hull? Yes, that's right. It seems a way... It runs away at the first sound of soldiers on the march, but your smaller numbers should draw less attention. Uh -huh. Good. Come on, Evan. Um, all right. Okay. No, I don't want to make that one active. Then there's one up here. You? So... So a bun costs 100 guilders. I, I give you 500 guilders. How much change do you give me? Um... Dunno. Hello. Hello there, what are you doing? We're planning on opening a shop when we're older, so we're practicing, just like Miss Henny taught us. Mm -hmm. Miss Henny? Surely not. You know her, Evan? Mm-hmm. Back when my father was alive, Miss Henny would sometimes come to the castle and give me lessons. Huh. So she was your tutor, huh? 
You wouldn't happen to know where Miss Henny is now, would you? She told us she was going to the forest of Nial. She's taking some textbooks to one of Nial's apprentices, I think. I'm really worried about her, though. Dad said the forest is full of wolves. Oh, my. Wolves? Oh, my. We'd better go after her and make sure she's all right. Right here. See you. I will wait here until you bring me a grass green thread, King Evan. Yes. We got five of them. I don't know where we, I've been looking for them. Oh, the thread you carry. Is it for me, King Evan? Mm. Of course. And if I give it to you, you'll come to my kingdom, won't you? <laughs> oh, yes. The binding thread represents a bond of loyalty that can never be broken. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I will serve you for as long as you wish, your majesty, or should I say, master. Alright. Pai Chi, we got her. Um, now there's another one. Up here. You? How are you? Hello there, young man. I am pleased to say that this is your lucky day. You see, I've been looking for someone with whom I can share my tale, and what a tale it is. An account of such bravery and daring do that it is sure to provide a source of strength and inspiration. It begins half a century ago, when I was but a young pup, trying to make my way in the world. Best make yourself comfortable, Evan. I've got a feeling this will be a long one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds interesting, though. In fact, I'm rather looking forward to hearing it. Cor, you really are a wide-eyed innocent, aren't you? And so I went on to dazzle the world with my battlefield prowess. I traveled to distant kingdoms and smote entire herds of porks. I took to the high seas and suppressed schools of ferocious fangfish. I once even brought down a wave worm with a single well-placed arrow. I was unstoppable, invincible, the world's greatest warrior. Gosh. Gosh, that's... Well, incredible is the only word. <laughs> arf, arf, you are impressed, I see, and no doubt you are wondering how you too might develop such a reputation, yes? Well, fear not, young man, I've prepared a trial for you. A trial? Indeed so, you are to journey to the shrine near the city and take on a fearsome monster by the name of Conflagra. The ominous smoke that surrounds her will make her easy enough to recognize. Mm. Ominous smoke? That sounds familiar. Yeah. It certainly does, Mon. I think we both know what we're dealing with by your... She is a vicious creature, and no mistake. She seems to enjoy nothing more than the sight of hapless travelers turning tail and fleeing in terror from her ferocious onslaughts. Which is not to say that I could not have triumphed over her in my younger days, of course. But age has taken its toll. My powers, I fear, are on the wane. I know better than to seek such confrontations now. Oh. Oh, but what? It is time for the younger generation to take over. You must smite the beast in my stead. And in doing so, you will prove yourself worthy of being my successor. Arf, arf, arf. All right. All right, I'll do it. I'll go and defeat that monster for you. Thanks. Excellent. I knew you would not let me down. Are you sure about this, Mon? I mean, have you really thought it through properly, like? Hmm. What is there to think about, Lofty? If this monster's been infected by that awful darkness, someone's got to deal with her, and we'll all be, or we'll all be in trouble. And besides, I want to see if I'm as good as he was. Ha! I knew he'd reel you in with all them tall tales of his. As your kingmaker, I'm obliged to say you're already twice the fighter he ever was, but there's only one way to find out for certain, ain't it? Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to make that one. Alright. Is there any other... There's two more. There's one further up. Oh, and three more. Two further down. So let's go get this one that's further up. And these are all just side quests that we can do, which is absolutely mind-blowing. This game can be huge. Hmm. Ah, you have come uh, to your... You have come to have your fortune told, yes? Oh! Well, I wasn't really planning on it, but since I'm here, I might as well. Hmm. Good, now let's see. Hmm, yes. 
star gro glows brightly, illuminating the path ahead. You walk along it, but you have yet to reach its end. If you continue along this path, you will change the world. It will not be easy, but the star burns fiercely. Other stars will join it, filling the world with light. Gosh. Gosh, that's very... Well, it's quite encouraging, actually. Oi! Oi, Evan Mun, why don't we ask this chap if he wants to join us in our kingdom? He's a proper talent, if you ask me. You wish to... You wish me to accompany you to your new kingdom. I am honored, but I'm afraid I must refuse. I cannot leave the city at the moment. People would think that I was running running away in disgrace. Why is that? Did something happen? My reputation here in Goldpaw has suffered greatly of late. Alas, I have no idea why, and thus no means of rectifying the situation. Really? Come on, Mun. You're a fortune teller. You must have some clue what's going on. As a matter of fact, I consulted the fates a short while ago. I saw two stars arriving in Goldpaw, throwing light on this whole misunderstanding and clearing my name. Two stars? Could that mean us? Who else, Mon? And if we manage to help him, that'll mean his prophecy was right, which means all that proper tidy stuff he said about you will turn out to be true as well. Hmm. Well, perhaps. We should help him regardless. Can you tell us where you think these awful rumors about you might have started? I can only imagine that they began at the casino. That is where I usually work, you see. I make predictions as to the outcomes of customers' bets. <laughs> the let's casino, eh? Right now. you are. Come on, Evan. Let's see what people down there are saying about our pal by your... Okay. And then we'll get the two at the bottom, and then we'll go ahead and end the episode there. I got lost. <laughs> Alrighty. There should be two more further down. And maybe next episode we'll do some of these side questing. Ah, you must be the new delivery boy. Where have you been? We have many, many orders waiting for you already. D delivery boy, I am. I think you've mistaken hey. me for. You have no time for chitter chatter, child. We have orders to deliver. But, but. Okay. What is our motto? Hmm. That's right. Fa fast as fate, delicious as destiny. So get these hot streak, spicy noodles delivered and quickly. You have three orders waiting for you already, and you have three minutes to deliver them to the hungry people what? of Goldpaw. Three minutes? That's impossible. If our chefs can make them that quickly, you can deliver them that quickly. Now prepare yourself and speak with me when you're ready to set out. Y yes sir. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that right now. Okay. And then you. You! You look suspicious to me. You think you can evade the all-seeing eye of Wan Meng, huh? Show me your entry papers now. Entry papers? Ha, exactly as I thought. You do not have permission to enter. There is no use in denying it further. You are a spy, hoping to slip into the city undetected. What? What? Why would you think that? What the- Lan Ming, are you accosting visitors to our kingdom again? I hope you've not leveled any of our wild accusations against them. How dare you? I am simply taking reasonable measures to keep undesirables out of gold paw. Why would anyone object to that? <clears throat> Every time, every single time, it is the same. I can only apologize. That insolent pup's name is Lan Meng. He's notorious for accosting travelers in the manner you experienced. He said he was trying to keep undesirables out of Gold Paw. Yes. That may be what he believes, but it is nonsense. The entry papers he demands from visitors do not even exist. Oh. Oh. The boy is truly a thorn in our side. He is only a guard in training, yet he has taken it upon himself to defend the kingdom single-handed. We have tried ordering him to cease and desist, but he will not listen. There must be something we can do about him, but I am at a loss as to what. Hmm. Well, his methods might be a little unusual, but his heart seems to be in the right place. He really wants to protect his kingdom. Yes, I have to say I'm quite intrigued by this Lan Meng fellow. Let's go and talk to him again. Okay. No. All right. So we picked up a bunch of side quests, but that is actually going to be 
where we end the episode for this day. <laughs> um, so guys, thank you so much for all your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Nino Kuni 2 Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye bye everyone.